Greetings, true friends. Today I want to talk a bit about mewing. And before I begin to elaborate, I'm just going to say that I will link Dr. Mike Mew's channel below. And I suggest that you watch through all of his videos. I am about halfway through all of his videos and I've gained some uh, good levels of enlightenment and you all know me I love to learn so uh, definitely if you have taken a glorious pill if you have embarked upon the quest of self-improvement definitely check that out and I will give a shout out to uh, Base Chaman aka uh, Brother Lockjaw for um, I stumbled upon his video where he talked about mewing and then I got into this uh, whole topic so basically what mewing is, is a correct tongue posture, a correct way to swallow and a correct way to just go about your breathing, etc. But uh, yet again, I will link um, his channel below, Dr. Mike Mew, so that you can get um, the information directly from him because he's obviously a high level dentist and he can explain this much better than I can. What I would like to say though is that some people they look at mewing and say, like, oh, can I change the shape of my jaw to uh, become more aesthetic by doing mewing for a half year? Now, first and foremost, you need to do this when you're younger uh, to get the best effect. Then obviously it can have a, an effect. You can change the structure of your face to a certain extent. But uh, then again, I'm going to take an example of bodybuilding to put this into context. To put this into context, I have never in my entire life said that you can look like me uh, just by training like me. I can only look like myself because only I have my unique genetics. So I've always been quite upfront with that, that your genetics determine how uh, your body will look and how easily you can put on muscles, etc. And it will take a very long time to put on uh, mass. Uh, it will take a very long time to get a, an aesthetically pleasing physique. Now, obviously, if you look at mewing, for example, Dr. Mike will tell you the same. It will take a long period of time and you have to be very consistent with it. So if I look upon why most guys fail to get a good physique, and I'm not even talking about getting extremely juicy like I am. I'm just talking about getting a good physique because you don't need to be as heavy as I am to have a good physique. There are plenty of guys who have more aesthetic physiques. So, uh, but the most common mistake is that people aren't consistent. So they try different things like, oh, here's a new way I can improve. And then they do it for three months and then they stop. Same thing with mewing, probably for most people. So if you're going to embark upon it, do it, do it for real. Now, what I will do now is I will adhere to his teachings and then I will actually shave off my beard come spring to see if I can gauge any differences. Now, here's a picture of the last time I was without a beard. So obviously um, looks reasonable enough and I've never had any issues with the teeth. So I never have had crowded teeth or anything like that but I'm gonna give this a shot and this is also not just because of any potential aesthetic improvement you can make it's also like I say when I say to you that you should train hard it's not about getting your guns to look in a certain way it's also about your mental well-being so if we're talking about mewing for example the correct way to swallow the correct way to breathe through your nose into your stomach all of these sort of things that's also to improve your general well-being so if you say oh i want to be jacked then i say to you yeah okay you can that's a good aim to want to become jacked but you should also take into consideration the health benefits so that's also something i'm looking into seeing what kind of health benefits uh, can i gain from thinking more actively upon this and also another note, I will talk a bit more about Weston Price, also a uh, renowned dentist who went around the world looking at the teeth of um, Aboriginal people or people who hadn't yet started adhering to a uh, modern diet. That's obviously something I'm very much interested in now when I will start supplying food for the little princess of cuddliness and cuteness uh, come next year. So I obviously want to make sure that her diet is uh, on point. So uh, I will read up a lot on these sort of things also make sure that she gets a you know fully developed jaw good teeth and everything like that so uh, that is my take on mewing and i also wanted to say that i fully support dr mike mew in his um, battle against his adversaries uh, because here's the thing this is something you can think about in um, in life in general when there is money involved people are going to have vested interest his opponents they do not want people to be able to change perhaps by themselves because then they can be out of a job because then they won't have to fix people's teeth 
But obviously, I know full well how Dr. Mike feels because I have been helping people for ages and I get and I feel happy doing that. That's a natural human instinct to want to help your tribe, to want to help other humans because it feels nice. If I, can, if I know that I can raise the general health of the population, yeah, that's, that makes me happy. As simple as that. There's nothing strange or uh, confusing about that. Humans like to help other humans. If you feel depressed, try doing something uh, for someone else and you will feel happier for it. And this is what Dr. Mike Mew is doing as well. He's trying to raise the awareness of these things and what you can do for for this cause is to yeah, spread the awareness. So spread this channel, give him your support and, um, and start adhering to his uh, teachings. So that's my thoughts for today. XOXO, boom.